If you're ever on a game show like Family Feud, sometimes it's best to watch how you answer some questions because you never know what will bite you in the end. That's what's happened to 39-year-old Timothy Blifnick, where he was actually on a game show back in 2020, where one of the answers that was propped to him was, what was the worst thing that you did on your wedding night? In which he gave a response of, saying I do, which shocked the audience and everything while trying to figure out like, why would he say something like that. Then he tried to clarify and say that he actually loved his wife, and then he would just gave the answer just so he can win. But knowing the mistake that he made, he went and asked Steve Harvey was, is this something that I'm getting in trouble for? In which Steve replied back with saying, there's going to be a lot of hell to pay when you get back home. Which is exactly what happened because a year after the show was aired, both Timothy and Rebecca Blifnick had filed for divorce. The next time Timothy would make headlines would be under vastly different circumstances, where he was actually being charged with breaking into his estranged wife's house, as well as shooting her 14 times. 41-year-old Rebecca Blifnick was a mother of three, who was also nominated for the International Daisy Award back in 2020, which is only given to those for exceptional care, and she was also a certified trauma nurse, as well as an SA nurse examiner, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, she was also worked as a travel nurse. She would volunteer for animal rescue groups and dedicate her life to her three boys. The way her family would talk about her would say that her laugh was contagious and that she made things that were mundane fun. On February 23rd, 2023, Lovins became concerned when Rebecca never showed up to pick up her sons from school. And so beforehand, Timothy has sent a text to Rebecca's dad asking him if he can check on Rebecca to see if she was going to pick up her sons from school or if he was going to go ahead and do it. Rebecca's father agreed and actually drove over to her house to check up on her and see how she was doing. But upon arriving at the house, that's when he noticed that something was off because when he walked up to the front door, he noticed that the door was wide open, which is something that she normally doesn't do, as well as the fact that she wasn't answering when he was calling for her. And so through a check of the house, he actually went upstairs and checked the bathroom where he actually found her body on the ground. Her father had rushed to her neighbor's house to call 911 because he had left his phone behind. Timothy was not considered a suspect until a week after the murder when the Quincy Police Department had obtained a search warrant to search his property and during the search of his basement they actually found bullish casings that actually matched the same casing that was found at the crime scene. And during their search they also found an Aldi bag that had Rebecca's DNA on it including they came up to the conclusion that he used an Aldi bag as a homemade suppressor for the gun that he used. Timothy was arrested on March 13th of 2023 and during his preliminary hearing he pled not guilty. During his trial, prosecutors have presented evidence that proved that he was a perpetrator by showing his online search history which showed that he looked up information on how to get rid of gunshot residue, what is the average police response time, and how to open the door with a crowbar. Rebecca's family also testified during his court hearing by saying that the divorce back in 2021 was a messy one because Timothy was expected to pay $2,100 in maintenance fee as well as $475 in child support. The couple was also going through a very messy custody battle where Timothy had requested that Rebecca be psychiatrically evaluated for, you know, for her gang custody. It was revealed that Timothy was court ordered to return a gun that belonged to Rebecca. However, he reported to police that he didn't want to do it himself, but law enforcement stated that they cannot get involved since it was a court ruling. On March 31st, 2023, the jury had deliberated for four hours before returning back with a guilty verdict after his defense team failed to provide any evidence that would clear his name. Timothy is currently sitting in prison right now serving a 45 years to life. 